Whitney.com. Now she attacked Kelly Ripa, who's a wonderful person. I just did Regis' show yesterday. I don't know if anybody saw it. But she attacked Kelly Ripa because this guy put his hand in her mouth to shut her up. He put his hand right in her mouth, Clay Aiken. And Kelly's nice and she didn't really attack that. She attacked Danny DeVito and called him a drunk and talked about he's an alcoholic. And he's not. I mean, I know him. He's a friend of mine. And I called him. I said, Danny, she called you all these things. This is before I had my problem with her. Go on television and announce that she's bad news and you're not an alcoholic. And he said, eh, I don't want to get involved. I don't want to get... I said, all right, that's, you know, different personality. So then I get a call, because I don't watch that show, it's a piece of shit. <laughs> and then I get a call. <laughs> I get a call from some newspaper and some other guy and a couple of other people. And they say, Rosie went on this ranting, raving, lunatic thing about you. She said, your hair is shitty. <laughs> Not wrong about that. <laughs> but it is my hair. <laughs> and she attacked me. Because I gave Tara Connor, who was the Miss USA, everyone thought I'd fire her. And I saw how beautiful she was. I said, how the hell can I fire her? Of course, Rosie said that. But everybody thought I was going to fire her, and I gave her a second chance. She has a drug problem. She has an alcohol problem. And I gave her a second chance. I didn't think it was such a big deal, but it was a big story. I mean, here's a girl who would have been ruined if I didn't. She would have been thrown out the first time in the history of the Miss USA contest since 1952. She would have been thrown out like a dog. Attacking me. Now, I had a choice. I could have attacked back, or I could have let it pass. And I chose to go the first one. <laughs> because I got calls from Entertainment Tonight and Inside Edition and all of these people. And they're calling and they're saying, do you have a response? Now, if I didn't have a response, in all fairness, it probably would have been a smaller, you know, very small story. It would have passed. But I did have a response. <laughs> I called her a pig, a degenerate. <laughs> I said that her wife is a lovely person. Well, she is. <laughs> She's married to a lovely person who she calls her wife, and that's fine. You know, that's your deal. <laughs> and I go on the show, the Today Show, to talk about The Apprentice about a month ago. And I have Meredith Vieira asking me questions. And she starts off, she's supposed to talk about The Apprentice, or how good I am, or great. Or <laughs> and she starts off by saying, Donald, Donald, why did you attack Rosie? So I start off with that. And then she said, is it true yeah, you can it. that you said she was crude? I said, no, I never said that. It's not strong enough. I said she's a total degenerate. <laughs> and then she asked me another question. Is it true that you called her a fat pig? I said, no, I called her a pig. I didn't say she was fat, because that's politically incorrect. But come to think of it, Meredith, is she fat? <laughs> oh, I want to know that you. you. I said, Meredith, I want to know, is she fat? <laughs> And she goes, oh, I don't think I should answer that. I said, well, assuming I did call her a fat pig, do you think I'd be wrong? I didn't. But do you think I'd be wrong? And she goes, let's get off the subject. Because these people really have no balls. I mean, I, and I love her. She's very nice, but they don't have them. And then her third point is this. Donald, why do you always talk about Rosie? I said, because you asked me. It was the dumbest interview I think I've ever had in my life. I feel like a moron, you know. Here I am, I graduated from Wharton, and I'm calling people fat pigs. You know, like but it was very interesting, because that, you know, slob, Rosie, goes on a red carpet the other day. And they ask her a question about Donald Trump. Tell me about Donald Trump, you want to ask him? I don't want to talk about him. You know what? Because I hit that big pig face <laughs> right smack in the middle of the eye. Sure. She'll talk about Kelly Ripa, she'll talk about anybody. But when you hit back, you know, when you deal with a bully, which is what she is, 
When you deal with a bully, I learned it in high school, you've got to hit a bully really hard, really strong, right between the eyes. That you really have to think about. And it's one of the points I talk about. And I'm going to start with it, and it's called Get Even. Get Even. This isn't your typical business speech. Get even, but this is a real business speech. You know, in all fairness to Wharton, I love it. But they teach you some stuff that's a lot of bullshit. When you're in business, you get even with people that screw you, and you screw them 15 times harder. And the reason is, the reason is, the reason is, not only, not only, because of the person that you're after. But other people watch what's happening. Other people see you, or see you, or see, and they see how you react.